good morning students today i am going to discuss session 10 of chapter 6 from your class 12 biology syllabus the name of the chapter is molecular basis of inheritance already we have completed nine session of chapter 6 and from those nine sessions we came to know a lots of things about molecular biology the first and foremost thing is that different experiment which proved that dna is the genetic material second thing is the nucleic acid structure and function the third one is the watson crick dna model the fourth one is the dna replication the fifth one is the dna transcription the sixth one is the genetic code and the global leaf model of trna the seventh one is the translation procedure the eighth one is the lac operon concept and the last one was the human genome project so in the today's class we are going to discuss dna fingerprinting procedure and this is the last topic of this chapter and with this topic i will complete this chapter also so let's start the today's class today we are going to discuss the dna fingerprinting procedure so this dna fingerprinting technology is actually very much familiar and the uh, most acceptable technology in the criminal science in the criminal biology and in modern era so what is the meaning of this technology and what is the uh, uses of this technology it is the technology which is used for the identification of the individual at the genetic level so it is the technology which is used for the identification of individual at genetic level okay so this technology was first developed by scientist alex jaffrez in the year of 1985 so you can say this thing that what is the basic uh, definition of dna fingerprinting how you will define that this is the dna fingerprinting so the another term of the dna fingerprinting is also the dna typing or dna genetic fingerprinting or the dna profiling so this dna profiling or dna fingerprinting whatever you say is a actually one kind of the technique to identify a person on the basis of the person's dna specificity so this technique was developed by the scientist alex jaffrez in the year of 1985 so this dna fingerprinting involves actually identifying the differences in some specific regions in dna sequences that's called the repetitive dna that's called the repetitive dna so i am highlighting this portion because this is very much important for your exam that what is the meaning of the repetitive dna so some this suppose this is dna strand okay so one dna strand has several nucleotide bases because this dna is polynucleotide chain so so many nucleotide bases is there like a c g c in this way okay so in some portion this a c g c bases actually these sequences are in a repetitive way this present in a repetitive way so this sequence is called the repetitive dna sequence this sequence is called the repetitive dna sequence okay so totally this technique is actually totally based upon the fact that the dna constitution of an individual carries some specific sequence of the nucleotides i am repeating again the technique this dna fingerprinting technique actually based upon the fact that the dna constitution of an individual carries some specific sequence of the nucleotides and these sequence do not carry any kinds of the information for protein synthesis so this particular sequence do not carry any kinds of information for the protein synthesis so these specific sequences are repeated many times and found at many places within the genome so this particular sequence this particular this repetitive dna sequence actually do not carry any kinds of information for the protein synthesis for the protein synthesis okay so this is the basic things of the repetitive dna next thing is the this repetitive dna are separated from the bulk genomic dna at different peaks during the density gradient centrifugation process okay so this repetitive dna are actually separated from the bulk genomic dna at different peaks during density gradient centrifugation process and this bulk dna forms a major peak 
and this other small peaks are referred to as the satellite dna so this is also important information for all of you that what is the meaning of the satellite dna what is the meaning of the satellite dna okay so what is the meaning of satellite dna because all those things are very very important for your exam for your one marks question is very very important that these repetitive these all those repetitive dna sequences if you actually separate it by the centrifugation process so within all those bulk genomic dna which dna which bulk dna actually forms a major peak and the others the rest of the portion actually shows the small peaks so which is actually shown the small peaks that's referred to as the satellite dna so these sequences show high degree of polymorphism and form the basis of dna fingerprinting so these kinds of the satellite dna sequences actually show high degree of the polymorphism i am repeating again this sequence this satellite dna sequence actually show high degree of the polymorphism okay and form the basis of the dna fingerprinting now you can ask me what is the meaning of the polymorphism so here i have written the inheritable mutation is observed in a population at high frequency is referred to as the dna polymorphism okay i am highlighting this portion what is the meaning of the dna polymorphism that the inheritable mutation okay is observed in a population at the high frequency it's referred to as the dna polymorphism so the principle of the dna fingerprinting is based on the matching of vn tiers of dna collected at crime spot with the suspect person dna so this is the actually the basis of the dna fingerprinting i am highlighting this portion because this is important for your one or two marks question that on which ground actually we can apply this dna fingerprinting procedure or what is the basis of this technology what is the base point of this technology so what is the base point of this technology that the principles of the dna fingerprinting is actually based on the matching of the vn tiers of dna collected at the crime spot with suspect person dna so this is the actually the basis of dna fingerprinting next thing is the vn tiers so next definition is the vn tiers so this is the variable number of tandem repeat sequence this is the variable number of tandem repeat sequence so what is the meaning of this that the another term of the vn tier is also so what is the meaning of this vn tier the another term of the vn tier is actually the mini satellites okay and it shows very high degree of the polymorphism this vn tiers portion of the dna actually shows very high degree of the polymorphism okay so uh, what is the meaning of the vn tier so actually so which this repetitive dna sequence actually these specific sequence are repeated many times and found at various place within the genome okay so the loci at which these sequences are present known as the variable number tandem repeat sequences or the mini satellites okay so these sequences are 10 to 100 nucleotides long with repetition of certain combination with them so like the like the acgc like again acgc so this is actually the the 10 to 100 nucleotides long with the repetition of certain combination with them so these sequences are variable in their number from person to person and these vn tiers thus are used as the genetic markers which individuals inherit from their parents so these vn tiers are actually very specific to individuals and differs from person to person because more or less all the nucleotides become same in in all the living organisms but some things actually different which leads to the variation so these vn tiers are very specific to the individual and differs from person to person so it shows some similarities between the family members it shows some similarities between the family members okay so these vn tiers of identical twins are same so hence it is not possible to identify individuality in identical twins by the dna fingerprinting technology 
because in the VNTRs portion actually same in the identical twins okay and this DNA fingerprinting actually the basis of this DNA fingerprinting to detect this VNTRs to detect this the VNTRs so this is the basic things of the DNA fingerprinting technology next thing is the southern blotting so this is one kinds of the technology so all those things are important for your one mark question that what is the meaning of the southern blotting so it is the technique or transferring dna from the agar gel to nylon sheet okay so actually from the bulk of the genomic material so when we extracted only dna from those bulk of the genetic material this is called the southern blotting okay next thing is the probe what is the meaning of the probe? That single stranded polynucleotide fragment complementary to the specific sequence of nucleotides of DNA is called the probe. Okay, I am repeating again. That what is the definition of the probe? That the single stranded polynucleotide fragment which is complementary to the specific sequence of the nucleotides of DNA. That is called the probe. Suppose one probe is there that this is suppose one probe so the sequence is the ACGC suppose this is sequence of the ACGC so it has to be complementary to the specific DNA sequence so the DNA sequence what would be the specific DNA sequence that the T G C and again G okay so when this probe actually attached to the DNA sequence when when actually it will find this particular sequence that the TGCG so this probe actually the single standard polynucleotide fragment and it's actually complementary to the specific sequence of the nucleotides of DNA is called the probe and it's mainly used in identify VN tears and the desired gene it is mainly used in identify VN tears and the desired gene okay so this is the basis of the dna fingerprinting so these are the steps which is involved in the dna fingerprinting technology okay so this whole thing actually the basis of the dna fingerprinting technology this whole thing is actually the basis of the dna fingerprinting technology okay so now i am coming to the steps of the dna fingerprinting the first thing is that this DNA fingerprinting technique involved the southern blotting and hybridization using the radio label VNTR as probe. Okay, already we have discussed what is the definition of probe. So, what is the basis of the, what is the um, procedure of this DNA fingerprinting? The first is the isolation of the DNA. The first thing is the isolation of the DNA. So, this DNA fingerprinting is highly reliable method for identification of individuals in the criminal which is involved in any kinds of the criminal activity okay so the how this dna fingerprinting procedure will takes place first thing is that we have to isolate the dna second thing is the digestion of dna by restriction endonuclease okay so this restriction endonuclease is one kind of the enzyme through which we can extract dna from the genetic material or we can cut the actually the desired portion of the DNA so this restriction endonuclease is also called the molecular scissor also called the molecular scissor and uh, we will discuss later about this molecular scissor in your biotechnology portion in your biotechnology chapter so next thing is the separation of the DNA fragments by the electrophoresis separation of the DNA fragments by the electrophoresis technique okay next thing is the Transferring of separated DNA fragment to the nylon sheet. Next thing is the hybridization using labeled VNTR probe. And the last one is the detection of hybridized DNA fragment by the autoradiography. So these are the several steps which is involved in the DNA fingerprinting technology. I am repeating again that first is that you have to isolate the DNA from the material like the blood clot or any kinds of the sample okay you have to isolate the dna from the sample okay like the blood cell like the, from the hair from the nails or, any, or from any other thing second thing is the after that you have to fragmented this dna by the restriction endonuclease restriction endonuclease enzyme next thing is the after that after the fragmentation you have to separate this dna fragments by the gel electrophoresis technique 
ओके सो दिस जेल इलेक्ट्रोफोरोसिस टेक्निक एक्चुअली वन काइंड ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिकल प्रोसीड्योर बाय व्हिच द ऑल द डीएनए एक्चुअली फ्रैगमेंटेड ऑल द डीएनए इज सेपरेटेड अकॉर्डिंग टू द साइज ऑफ द डीएनए मॉलिक्यूल ओके नेक्स्ट थिंग इज दैट दैट दिस ऑल द सेपरेटेड डीएनए ट्रांसफर ऑन टू एन आइलॉन मेम्ब्रेन एंड आफ्टर दैट ऑल दोज आर जॉइनिंग ऑफ द डीएनए प्रोप विद द कॉम्प्लीमेंटरी fragment then removal of the excess probe and then you will get the pattern of dna then you will get the pattern of the dna and after that you will compare the dna pattern with the existing patterns the person 1 and person 2 okay so this is the basis of the dna fingerprinting technology i am showing the picture this is the picture suppose this is the cell sample then you you have to extract the dna by the southern blotting technique after that it cleaved or it actually the uh, separated it actually fragmented the dna by the restriction endonucleus then the separated of dna fragments by the gel electrophoresis this all the dna fragments are actually separated okay after the fragmentation next thing it will transfer to the membrane next thing is the binding of the radioactive dna probe to specific dna fragments after that this is the membrane was to the x ray crystallography technique and then you will get the actually the comparison of the dna pattern with the existing pattern so this is the basis of the dna fingerprinting technology this is the basis of dna fingerprinting technology next thing is the application of the dna fingerprinting technology the first application is that it's used to identify the criminals and the rapist it used to identify the criminals and the rapists second is the to solve the parental dispute okay to, this is actually it's a sure method in solving the paternity and the maternity disputes okay next thing is the to solve the immigrant problems it's actually solve the immigrant problem okay like it's being used to study the relationships among the various groups of people for knowing the historical migrations and the inversions next thing is the to identify the dead bodies of soldier died in wars next thing is the to identify the dead bodies of a person died at accidents and the bomb blast next thing to identify the racial groups next to detect the inheritable disorders and the last one to detect donor cell in case of the transplantation process so it's also used actually uh, the method this method provides the information about the human lineage also and relationship with the great apes okay and after that it's useful in guiding the breeding programs for the endangered animals also okay so there are so many applications of dna fingerprinting technology is actually on there so i have written so many points i have written so many applications so within all the application you have to remember only three applications okay the main three application you have to remember during the time of your exam just write down three applications okay next thing is the the dna is isolated from the sample of blood this dna is isolated from the samples of blood cells hair root cells semen or bones collected at the crime spot okay next thing is that the dna of suspect also collected and isolated separately the dna of the suspect so this is the victim this is the suspect okay person 1 and person 2 so the dna of suspect also collected and isolated separately next thing the isolated dna is treated with the restriction endonucleus to cut into the number of fragments after that the dna fragments are separated according to their length on gel slab using the gel electrophoresis next thing the dna strands on gel slab is treated with the alkaline solution to split double strand into the single strand because you have to fragment the double strand you have to actually uh, hydrolyze the double stranded dna into the single stranded dna the single strand dna is transferred to nylon sheet using the southern blotting technique okay you have to remember this term the single stranded dna is hybridized with radioactive probes of vntiers the excess of probes are washed off the excess of probes are actually washed off okay so this nylon sheet is x ray photographed to get band with the vntier and the bands of x ray sheet is the dna fingerprint 
ओके सो दिस इज द बेसिस ऑफ द डी एन ए फिंगर प्रिंट द कंपेयरिंग द डी एन ए फिंगर प्रिंट ऑफ सिंपल कलेक्टेड एट क्राइम स्पॉट विथ सस्पेक्ट आइडेंटिफाइज द इंडिविजुअलिटी सो इन दिस वे एक्चुअली यू कैन यूज द डी एन ए फिंगर प्रिंटिंग टेक्नोलॉजी टू डिटेक्ट द क्रिमिनल्स टू डिटेक्ट द क्रिमिनल्स ऑन टू एक्चुअली द डिटेक्ट द एनी अदर सो मेनी थिंग्स ओके नेक्स्ट थिंग इज द नेक्स्ट टू डेफिनेशंस actually i have written this is important for your one or two marks question that southern blotting so what is the definition of southern blotting so this technique of transferring dna from agar gel to nylon seed is called the southern blotting so the technique of transferring dna from agar gel to nylon seed is called the southern blotting technique okay so next thing is the probe what is the meaning of the probe that single stranded polynucleotide fragment which is complementary to specific sequence of nucleotide of dna so already i have discussed this thing where i have discussed this thing this portion okay so this is the basic things this is the basic things of the probe so this is called the probe and it's mainly used in the identify vn tears and the desired genes so this is your the last topic of this chapter dna fingerprinting so from this video we came to know actually lots of things that what is the meaning of dna fingerprinting what is the definition of dna fingerprinting why actually we are using this technology in our modern science in our criminal science and how you will do this bn this uh, whole dna fingerprinting technology what is the applications of dna fingerprinting technology and so many important questions just one marks question like what is the meaning of southern blotting what is the meaning of probe what is the meaning of mini satellite what is the meaning of vn tear what is the definition of this all those things what is the importance of all those things and uh, the what is the basis of the dna fingerprinting technology so all those things you actually got to know from this video okay so for the exam so the, those kinds of questions are very much important that first important thing is the steps of the dna fingerprinting with the proper diagram the steps of the dna fingerprinting with proper diagram that i am showing the diagram also so these are the diagram so you have to draw this diagram properly during the time of your exam okay you have to draw the diagram properly within the with in the time of the exam suppose if you are if 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 you don't have any time for to draw all those things then don't draw okay just write down the proper things just write down the proper steps okay in the schematic way so this is the main thing the next thing is the what is the basic definition of all those things what is the basis of the dna fingerprinting this southern blotting this probe this vn tears all those things what is the application just remember three to four applications of this dna fingerprinting i hope this video will help you a lot for better understanding i hope so okay and this is the end of the chapter this topic actually was the last topic of this chapter in our next class we will discuss a new chapter that chapter 7 and uh, before ending this thing actually i must say one thing that this chapter is quite complicated chapter and quite difficult chapter for all of you okay i must say this thing because i think all of you know this thing because all those things are quite uh, new to all of you this all those terms this replication this transcription this translation this lack of pattern concept all those things are quite tricky to all of you quite new to all of you so that's why I go through these portions properly okay go through these portions properly in a minimum 2 to 3 times okay and all those genetic code portion all those translation all those transcription please uh, practice it properly otherwise you cannot write all those things in your during the time of your exam so that's why i am telling you in repeated times that go through each and every portions properly go through each and every topics go through each and every chapters properly otherwise you will face problem during the time of your exam okay so this chapter 5 and this chapter 6 is very much important for your exam and not only for the school exam for your others exam also others competitive exam also so many tricky questions may come from this portion in your neat exam who are neat experience especially so so many tricky questions may come from this portions okay so that's why i am telling you in repeated times that go through each and every topics properly go through each and every videos properly
okay so we are making all those videos for all of your sake so that's why just follow it but i am saying just listen to me carefully just go through each and every videos and in the meantime suppose if you are having any queries any problem just ask me immediately i am always there for you but just go through it properly okay for each and every topics for each and every chapters for each and every definition especially these two chapters are quite tricky chapters okay and in the in our next class we will discuss a new chapter that chapter 7 okay so i am ending this session i hope this video will help you a lot so thank you bye